Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on practical JavaScript, where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at freecodecamp.com. In this video, we're doing another advanced challenge, and it is called Inventory Update. And believe me when I tell you, this is a doozy of a challenge, but don't worry, I'm going to walk you through um, and uh, explain, you know, what I do every step of the way. Uh, but first, let's um, understand what the challenge is. Compare and update the inventory stored in a two-dimensional array against a second two-dimensional array of a fresh delivery. Update the current existing inventory item quantities in array one. Uh, if an item cannot be found, add the new item and quantity into the inventory array. Uh, the returned inventory array should be in alphabetical order by item. Okay, so basically we've got uh, two two-dimensional arrays, uh, the current inventory, okay, and uh, here it is, and the new inventory. And we just need to return a new 2D array, and it has like the updated quantities um, of, of like uh, of the existing items and then uh, any new items that are in the second array. So for example, um, we have, um, we have like bowling ball, okay, and we have 21 of those. And then the new inventory, it adds 67 bowling balls. So um, we have to, you know, add 67 to, to 21. So that would be, what would that be, 88. So um, the new inventory would have 88 bowling balls. Um, there's no other dirty socks in the new inventory, so that would remain two. Um, it has a hairpin, so two, so two and one is three. Uh, there's no microphones that would say the same. Um, let's see, half-eaten apple. This is some weird stuff. Uh, that would get added in there because that there isn't one currently in there. Uh, and then toothpaste would also get added in there. So uh, if it exists uh, uh, already, we're just adding to it. Otherwise, we just add like the whole thing. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Um, I'm going to try to do this in under 15 minutes. Um, have no choice because that's the uh, software that I'm using. I get uh, 15 minutes for free. <laughs> uh, and anyway, uh, enough talk. Let's go. Uh, I want to create an object um, that has um, th that basically has all, all of the inventory items, um, uh, the, the uh, added up items if they appear in both uh, uh, arrays or both, uh, yeah, uh, 2D arrays, and then, um, and then um, the new items uh, if it only appears in, in one of them in the new inventory subarray. So I'm going to create a variable called var inventory. Okay, and I'm going to concatenate array one and array two, so the current inventory and the new inventory. So concat array two, okay. And I'm going to use our good old fashioned, uh, good old friend, the reduce function, okay. It takes two arguments and accumulator and uh, the next value, okay, great. And uh, I'm going to uh, give the a new uh, accumulator a default value of just curly braces, so um, an empty object. All right, so if accumulator, okay, next one, okay, so um, basically if this exists, the accumulator is an object. So if it has the key, um, uh, of, uh, of this item, okay, and next is like one of the, you know, uh, subarrays, um, and then one because it is, uh, it is the name, it's in uh, index one. So if it's not undefined, if it, if it already exists, then we're just going to add to its current value. So accumulator, okay, and then next one, and then we'll just add to its uh, already existing value using next zero because the zero index uh, would be the value. Okay, and else if it's undefined, if it doesn't exist, let's just add it in there. So uh, we got that. Next one equals 
And so just the, this is just a regular assignment. Okay. And then um, after, you know, after we do this, we, we always got to return the accumulator. So make sure that you put that return statement at the bottom right there. Otherwise, you get a nasty error, probably a type error. Okay. So we did that. Awesome. Um, and uh, if, if we just go ahead and return inventory. Okay. Okay, you can see <coughs> we have um, we have an object, um, and look at it. Um, we have bowling ball eighty eight. Okay, so that's like um, sixty seven uh, plus the twenty one there. We got the dirty socks, the hairpin, the microphone, half eaten apple, and the toothpaste. So this is like the updated um, uh, inventory. This is what we essentially need. Now all we have to do is make this into a two-dimensional array and uh, make sure that all of the items are sorted in alphabetical order. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, um, so um, I'm going to show you something really cool. Return object keys uh, inventory. So what do I get when I run that? Okay, look at that. I get an array of all of the object keys. So all of the keys from this object, uh, from uh, the inventory object, um, if I run this object.keys on, on and I pass it this object of the inventory, I get an array of all the object keys. So that is pretty cool. So I'm gonna run object.keys, so that's uh, an array now, so I can call array methods on it. I'm going to call map on it because I'm going to um, I'm going to essentially change uh, that array and uh, transform it a little bit. And I suppose I can use the reduce method again, but um, I'll just switch it up and, and use the map method. And uh, that's going to be a value. So each um, each object key is a value. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to return. What am I going to return? I'm going to return the inven Inventory value. Okay, so basically, um, uh, so basically the um, the number. Okay, because you can see here in the examples, uh, in each subarray, the the quantity is first, and then the uh, item. So I'm going to say inventory value, and then just the value. Okay, so great, we got that. Um, and if I if I run that now, okay, cool. I I have a two-dimensional array, and it looks like uh, you know I got the the total um, the, the total like inventory quantity and, and the object key. It looks great. It's not passing all the tests. Why? Because it is not in alphabetical order. Okay, so we see we got B for bowling ball, D for dirty socks, H for hairpin, M for microphone. Looks good, but. Here we go, half-eaten apple H. So this is obviously not in alphabetical order, so we need to um, just return it in ascending alphabetical order from A to Z. So um, I'm not even going to, you know, you know, store this in a variable. I'm just going to go ahead and chain the sort function on that. Okay, so sort, give it an anonymous function, a callback. Let's call it A, B. Now, uh, normally, um, when we're like sorting uh, just like strings, um, you know, I, I don't even need a callback. If I just had, um, like, for example, let me just, um, let me just uh, delete all of that. Well, that was stupid. Let me copy and paste this first, and then I'll delete all of that. Okay. All right. So I got this. All right. Here, here's our array of, uh, of object keys. Oh, plenty of time. All right, and if I just, if I did something like this, okay, just call the sort on it. Look at that. I, I get it in, uh, I get it in alphabetical order. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, if we're, if we're like, you know, doing numbers, you know, trying to uh, order or sort numbers, we have to give the callback. Um, now, now if you recall, let me just uh, control Z, oops. Okay, so now this uh, is um, is a two D array, so I can't just simply you know call sort um, like like this. Um, I don't even know what's going to happen if I did that. 
Um, it doesn't it doesn't exactly work. Um, but what it's doing here, it's it's sorting by. It looks like it's sorting by the 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 numerical value here. So we got two, three, three, five, seven, and eighty-eight. So that's not really what we need. Um, so we have to give it a call back, and um, we have to do something just a, a little special to it. Um, and you can read the documentation for this, but let me just um, uh, do this uh, really quickly. So if a okay uh, index one, so remember we got a two D array, so this is index zero, like the value in index one is the um, is the the name okay of the of the item, and we're trying to alphabetize by the item name, not by the uh, value or the uh, quantity of that item. All right, so if a uh, if the value of, uh, of one item is the same as the next item, okay, we're going to say return zero. So basically, if, um, if, if this string here is exactly the same as, a, as another string, don't do any sort of swapping, okay? Uh, now I'm going to put an else, and instead of, um, instead of embedding another if statement in here, uh, I'm just going to do a ternary uh, operator. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say return, okay, a1 less than b1, okay. And if, uh, if a is less than the value of b, then I'm going to return negative 1. Otherwise, I'm going to return 1. And uh, that looks a little bit of funky, but if I run it, hey, you've got guts. Uh, that is pretty darn cool. Um, okay, so I got enough time here. Let me just open up this documentation and show you what's going on exactly. I'm going to find that, um, that sort method here. By the way, the MDN documentation at uh, the Mozilla Developer Network is really good. Um, okay, so we've seen sort before. Okay, this is a simple example, just sorting uh, a one-dimensional array of strings. And we've seen this in, in like some of the intermediate challenges, trying to sort numbers. And if you do it, it doesn't really work. You have to um, uh, you have to pass it like a um, uh, you have to pass it like an anonymous function, kind of like this. Um, but but basically. Um, this is this is what we're doing right here. So um, you know, we got return minus one, return one, return uh, z equal, equals, and and this is how it like kind of sorts uh, things. So it it seems kind of confusing, but um, just come back here, you know, read uh, read some of this stuff right here. Um, basically, this compare function. I'll go ahead and blow this up. So you can look at that. That's uh, what you really want to read and, and kind of uh, understand. So you know it, it, it tells you you know what those values mean: zero, negative one, and one. You know what's going to come first and what's going to come next. It, it just uh, kind of explains how the sort uh, works. So um, by now you know you're advanced. So I'm going to leave it up to you to kind of uh, let you do the walking and the thinking a little bit. Uh, but but that's how we sort a 2D array. Uh, sorting by this um, by this index right here. So again, all right, this is what we're doing. We're creating an inventory uh, object, okay, and we're concatenating the current inventory with the new inventory. So we have like one big array. We're using reduce and we're creating an object with that. And um, in, in each like item, uh, it becomes an object key. And if it already exists, then we just add that value to to the existing value, and if it doesn't exist, then we just add in there, and so we get a nice object. Um, and then we create uh, an array of just the object keys, and we use the map function to um, to return to to mutate like a new array. And um, and uh, here, you know, we're putting two values in the square bracket. So this is how we create the 2D array. And then uh, after that, we chain on the sort, and then that um, alphabetizes it by, by the uh, item number. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this in the GitHub repo. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvement, I would love to hear from you. So please um, write them in the comments below, and I promise that I will respond. Okay, that's all for now. We only have a few more challenges remaining in this video series, and we will have 
completed. We will complete uh, all of the um, uh, advanced, uh, all of the uh, JavaScript challenges at Free Code Camp very, very soon. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Boop.